We do have uh, the U.S. Uh, Women's Junior Champion. Jennifer Yu is with us. Jennifer, first of all, congratulations. A great start for you, 2 out of 2 yesterday against Anna, one of the rating favorites. That was a big battle. Tell us a bit about that. Well, um, I'm, I think like my technique there at the end was definitely a bit suspicious, but overall I think it was a pretty good game. Um, so in, I wasn't really sure like what my form would be coming into this tournament. Um, just because like I know I prep, but you, you always feel like you don't prep enough. And I've been really pretty busy with like school. I'm like still making up everything. Um, so overall, felt pretty good about it. Um, I'm really happy the way I played in the end. I think I did some pretty creative stuff, um, but definitely a lot to work on too. Let's talk about today's game. Uh, when did you feel like you're taking over? It felt like the position was complex, but at some point you just broke through. What was that key moment? Okay, well. To start from the beginning, this opening was just, I don't know what the um, objective evaluation of this opening is. It definitely mm. wasn't that good for me, but okay. um, yeah, so here, I like, I I knew, I definitely knew I was supposed to play, but um, I didn't remember it right away. And then, um, I don't know if you guys saw the broadcast, but I knew there was a camera on me. I was like coughing my lungs out in the beginning, <laughs> um, so I wasn't feeling too good, and I was just like, Oh, let me just make some moves, and then all of a sudden I'm like, "What am I doing?" Bishop e f3, knight e5. Are you better now? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm good. No, now? it's like something about COVID. I'm just like, it's just, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But um, at some point, I think when I started to get, um, like, I moved my knight a bunch of times, but mm -hmm. when I got the knight to f4, it started to look um, like I started to have an initiative. Mm -hmm. Knight to f4, nice maneuver. Target the pawn on d5, queen f6, bishop b2, rook h, queen h5. Okay, so this was like really tricky here. Because mm -hmm. um, she played rook c5, which I think makes a lot of sense. Because now, um, even though she like she's losing the pawn, she gets a lot, a lot of counterplay for it. Um, so here I thought for a while, we were also both getting a little on, lower on time, I think. But here I was like, okay, we, we have to go for this takes. But it does look a little scary here. Because um, g6 is nice, and then create a loft for uh, the king yeah, first. Yeah, but there is like the drawback that the king side is weakened. Um, yeah, now here, rook, yeah, and rook d2. Um, so I thought for a long time between queen b5 and queen f3. Well, queen f3, I just hated this move. I just, I was like, this is horrible, but I was like a also a little bit scared about um, this rook d2 because it just looks so, like black has so many tricks. After queen b5. Yeah, yeah. but it seemed like it didn't work. Like none of them worked for her, even no, I though I think it was the best move, queen b5. Yeah, it didn't work for her, so I went for this. Especially uh, after queen c6. Yeah, queen c6, and and like you really want to get bishop takes e3 to work here, but just <laughs> bishop c1, yeah. So bishop takes e3, that's a nice one. Bishop c1. Yeah. Of course, don't take on e3 because you get checkmated. Um, and then here, I think I'm just, you know, um, I think she still has counterplay, but. Uh, it's like I don't think she has a really obvious plan on how to continue here. No, maybe this move rook to e2 with the idea to take on e3. Uh, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Like I didn't consider that, but yeah, c4. But it's still goes c4, maybe take. Queen c3. And then oh. queen c3, and it gets pretty wild. Yeah, yeah you go f6, but wild position. Yeah, it's just crazy. And how much time do you guys have at this point? Five minutes for yourself and 13 minutes for her. And actually, she thought for a very long time for this move, queen f6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it just, I think it completely turns my favor because now um, I'm kicking her rook back. She can't really, um, mm -hmm. like, there's not that much, like, you know, her counterplay chances are kind of gone. So, yeah, now it's just, like, very easy for me. Absolutely. Um, well, Jennifer, a very strong start for you, two out of two. What are your ambitions coming into this event? Well, I kind of had a very weird feeling coming to this event because um, the last time I played this tournament was like in person here, 2019. I won it 10 out of 11. So because of that, it's like any result other than 10 out of 11 is kind of a disappointment. But obviously, that's really difficult. And um, it's been a few years and um, I, you know, I haven't had as much time to look at chess. Um, I just really wanted to like it's play this tournament even though you know it's not the most convenient time for me because I have midterms and um, all sorts of things so um, I was just kind of like obviously I want to win because that's my result last time but I'm just kind of you know as long as I like play well keep up with my work 
no, I'm, I can t I'll take it. But How do you usually combine your academic career with playing chess? You study at Harvard, right? That's pretty yeah. demanding. <laughs> yeah. So this is my first time missing school and college. Um, so this is like I'm actually I'm really learning that right now because I used to do it in high school, but it's like completely different. Um, so you know. I'm just have to put like time out every day to watch lectures and do readings. Like mm -hmm. took a little quiz this morning, um, but you know so far so good. I just need a my other goal is to like sleep this early because <laughs> it was catchy that would be um, today. Excellent! Congratulations, <laughs> Jennifer. I mean, there's still plenty. Actually, not 11 rounds, 13 rounds yeah, this yeah. year. A lot of games left to play. Congratulations. Indeed, our congratulations to you, Jennifer. Keep okay. up uh, good uh, work 